right. Gina, I will marry you. Damn. I mean, are you happy now? Hey guys, so I know around the internet, social media, and on these YouTube streets, people have been talking about Bishop Noel Jones proposing to his longtime girlfriend, partner, whatever you want to call her, Miss Loretta, after almost two decades. And that's the part that got me, that wanted me to talk about it. Sometimes you hear things, but when you see them and you see it written out, that's when it kind of hits you. So <laughs> this article that I found online, when they had put two decades, I said, no, 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 no. I, I, myself personally, I don't know about everybody else in the world and I can only speak for myself, but I feel like two decades is too long to be waiting for anything. I did some research myself. You can become a doctor in 10 to 14 years. So you can become a whole doctor in less time rather than waiting for somebody to propose to you. And that's when it just hit me. <laughs> like, I think we as women have to kind of know when to hold them and when to fold them. And I know that there's no real time frame to each his own, but I feel like I would have broke up with somebody that got me on the string after some years and then prove to myself that I could get somebody to marry me in a in a much more appropriate time frame. Like that's more consistent with what's going on because if we can, if I can wait and work these good friends and such and such, what will be holding us back from actually making it official? We ain't getting no younger, baby. And I'm ready to be with you. You know, like what would be the hold up? And then it also made me concerned when, you know, I heard that he said he was he really ready to get married and give up his freedom for a straight jacket? Like really? That's what you think marriage is about? And especially as a bishop, he knows that marriage is holy, it's sanctified, it's a good thing. The man that finds a wife finds a good thing. So uh, it just kind of made me sad to hear somebody in his position to think marriage is a straitjacket and you're giving up your freedom. If anything, like now you have a, a co-partner, a co-laborer in the gospel, someone that you can lean on that got your best interests at heart. I don't know, that sounds like a good deal to me. So I just was like, let me get and on here and talk to the people and see what you guys think like how long were you are you how long is an acceptable time frame to wait for a man to marry you what do you ladies think and gentlemen if you're listening to this about what how many years or maybe months or what's an appropriate time frame that you feel like okay if i meet the one we court we date x y and z i'm about to put a ring on it like how many years is that or months or what what is your time frame men that are listening because you can do a lot in two decades i had to look up some information in less than one year you can pay off your debt mm -hmm, i found that on the article <laughs> in less than a year you can sell the world like come on now <laughs> in less than a year you can plant a whole forest so yeah, what, you know what I mean? Like you can be doing something more productive than waiting. And I know at the same time, she probably was like sitting on her hands and her feet, not doing anything. But I feel like at the same time, if she was doing some of these things, she might, may have met a new man, a new guy that would snatch her up real quick. That's how come I always believe it's good to just keep on living. You are single until married, you know, keep on doing your thing because these men will hold you on leashes. You know, you thinking that it's coming and it's coming and it's coming. And thank goodness for her it did but I just feel like a lot of time was wasted but then again I know for every woman that's not the ultimate goal so I get it <laughs> so I also wanted to tell you a few more things that you can do in less than a year it came from this article you can too seven amazing things people have accomplished in under a year so besides playing a force you can also raise millions so look she could have had like 20 almost 20 million dollars if she put in that kind of energy to make money instead of wait for him to marry her i don't know i just feel like you know when you want something you don't wait it don't take you a long time to figure it out most of the time in these situations when it's years and years and years it's more so well ain't nobody else around and that's what i wanted to say too like this whole thing is giving me i will marry you gina dang vibes like what? 
don't be trying to act like that if you don't want me then don't talk to me fantasia okay so don't play with me all right but like i said i just wanted to hear what you guys had to say is it ever okay to wait mm, a decade or more for a man to marry you and if so let us know if not do you have a time period in your mind that you'll be like okay i'm gonna wait until this time and then i'm out i'm cutting my losses i'm just gonna go ahead and free myself and move on what do you guys think and again don't stop living keep on grinding keep moving forward you know even if you got somebody in your life still keep doing the things that make you happy because ultimately it's about you and doing your thing and then i feel like when you do your thing and you come together with somebody else you know come together it's just like bam we doing things together we we make motion. you know what i mean so let me know what you guys think about this situation i wasn't going to talk about it but i said you know let's talk about it <laughs> and then oh one last thing i don't know how true it is but i heard that he proposed with a cracker jack ring don't it seem like he's just playing games with him like oh uh, like if you don't even really want to propose to me for real you don't have to just kind of release me oh my gosh that just kind of was insulting as well and then i was thinking about her loretta like what mind frame could she be in because i'm like is it really love or is it laziness does she not want to go out and see what else is out there she's comfortable she knows no way else so let me just get in where i fit in let me stay here i don't want to move forward kind of thing like what do you guys think but anyway i do want to hear your comments below on what you think is an acceptable time period to get proposed to and then lead on to marriage and if you have not subscribed to this channel please do mm -hmm. hit that subscribe button and i will be back again soon bye Mess ain't quite a man, a girl was having sex. Mess ain't quite a man, a girl was having sex.